time talking Michigan State, Ohio State, huge game in the Big Ten East. Uh, I, for one, Kyle, have an issue with the college football playoff. I think it's great for college football. I think it's an upgrade from the BCS for obvious reasons. It gives two more teams opportunities that have deserving resumes. But in a situation like this, um, in which the Big Ten is behind the eight ball and counting on one team to sweep on through and hope for the best, uh, it, it kind of... Uh, downgrades a conference championship. And I think that's a negative. And in what would otherwise be uh, a game that would captivate much of college football nation uh, is kind of put on the back burner as, uh, well, you're, yeah, you could win the Big Ten championship, but you can't get to the college football playoff. And I think that's unfortunate. Uh, looking at the personnel with the Spartans, um, for anybody out there that's watching Michigan State football for the first time, uh, anybody to look out for on either side of the football. I've seen Michigan State play quite a few uh, games this year, so I could throw out some some names, but I, I really like to get the the personnel breakdown for some from somebody like yourself. Well, uh, most people will, rem will remember the name L.J. Scott because of what he did his sophomore year mostly and what he did last year, but he's taken a little bit of a backseat. Watch out for this young receiving group. Uh, you have Cody White, who's emerged as the third down go-to guy. He's a tall, fast wide receiver who can really just do a little bit of everything. You have Hunter Risen, Andre Risen's son, who is uh, shorter. I think he's only 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 um, but he's a real tough wide receiver, and he's made some of the biggest catches uh, on the season for this Michigan State team in traffic. Uh, and then you have Felton going over the top, uh, Felton Davis. Um, He's, he's made some of the biggest touchdown grabs. And he's, if you're going to just throw the ball up to someone, that's, I think he's a, a, a redshirt junior, I believe. Um, but they have, they have a young group of receivers that have been making plays. Uh, and there's a lot of talent there, but, it, you know, these guys weren't starting to start the season. So they're really just starting to emerge now. And it'll be interesting to see how they do against uh, this level of talent. And to your point, Kyle, uh, Ohio State fans don't get comfortable if it's third and 16, third and 19, and watching that Penn State game, boy, they, they converted about three or four third and longs that were very impressive. Uh, balls thrown in tight windows, thrown right over defenders' shoulders, wide receivers making great plays, the guys that you just mentioned. Uh, it was pretty impressive to see. Uh, Michigan State, Ohio State, uh, both teams 7-2 and two, and vying for a Big Ten championship appearance in Indianapolis. Kyle Teeley, you can join him on The Only Colors. It's the SB Nation platform for Michigan State Athletics for the very best in Michigan State football. And before we leave you, Kyle, what's uh, your formula for a Michigan State victory? Uh, it's it's all about Brian Lewerke. If he can keep from making the disastrous turnover, Michigan State's going to be right there and have a fighting chance. He has a tendency to, despite his incredible athletic ability and ability to run and make plays down the field, he has a tendency to want to be a, a passing quarterback first. So uh, you saw this at the end of the Northwestern game where he just heaves up a ball uh, trying to make something out of nothing. If he can avoid trying to squeeze a pass in that he knows he shouldn't throw, Michigan State's going to be right there, and the defense will give them every chance in the world to win the game. Yeah, and if it comes down to a field goal, uh, what's etched in the minds of Ohio State fans or even just looking back one week to the Penn State game, it's a kicker with some kind of crazy celebration, sliding on the field or going with the windmill. <laughs> so it's it's been fun watching uh, Michigan State and Ohio State go at it, uh, Urban Meyer and Mark D'Antonio. Uh, Kyle Teeley from uh, The Only Colors on Michigan State's platform there on SB Nation. Uh, Kyle, we appreciate the breakdown. Hi, thanks for having me on.